This video will show you exactly what the title says, which is 7 free websites for site analysis in architecture, including free Digimap alternatives that you can use to create diagrams, plus easy 5 second site models. The first website is Ventusky, also available on Google Play and the App Store. The Ventusky program is open to everyone around the world to increase awareness of weather events in our atmosphere. The website uses maps to include a significant amount of weather data within a simple easy to use interface. You can check data like the temperature, precipitation, wind speed, humidity and etc. You can also access historical data as you can go back in time to see how the weather has changed or how the weather will change in the hours or days to come. But the best part is the animation of the winds over the map, which clearly illustrates the direction of the wind in a clear way which should be used in designing buildings correctly. You can change or turn off the wind animation if it bothers you, but I really don't see how it bothers anyone because it's really unique. You can also export these maps to place on your presentation boards, but if you are a website designer or you have a blog, you can also share a live screenshot of the map on your site. The second website is an open street map which offers map data for thousands of websites, smartphone applications and hardware devices. You can access different layers to maps similarly to Digimap but it is free and it's open data which means that you are free to use it for any purpose as long as you credit OpenStreetMap and its contributors. You can also export a map key which is handy considering that it is the thing I hate doing the most on Photoshop. You can also export as a JPEG or a PDF, but you can also export as an SVG, which is a vector-based file. And then you can edit in Illustrator to produce high-quality diagrams. So once you open in Illustrator, you will need to ungroup the layers and then delete the large watermark. You can then select them and delete. But the quickest method is to go into Select, Same, Appearance, and then Delete. From there, as you can see, the file is completely editable, which means that you can use it to create your site analysis diagrams. You can also use the same method to select different objects or elements, and then you can edit at the same time. The third website is Mapbox, which you will need to sign up for, but it is completely free. Once you sign up and activate the account, go into Design a Map, New Styles, and then pick one that you like. I like the look of basic maps, but you can select whichever one you like. On the left, you can see all of the layers that make up the map, such as buildings, land and water, natural features, etc. And all of those elements are editable as well. You can turn the buildings into 3D and if you zoom in, you can see 3D structures with height. You can export this and use as a diagram or you can also print it out and use it for when you're sketching simple concept diagrams or simple forms. You can also turn off the labels and icons for a clean and minimal look. The fourth website is CAD Mapper, which is pretty much the best Digimap alternative if you combine it with Mapbox or OpenStreetMap. First of all, you can download over 200 free whole city CAD files. Those are not so detailed, but they would be best if you are creating larger urban diagrams on a wider context, but you can also download more detailed ones, but you will need to sign up first. The free map is up to one kilometer square, and then over that you will need to purchase. It will show you a nice axonometric of the site or a 2D view, which you can then screenshot, and then you can download the SketchUp file and enjoy. The fifth website is a contour map generator, which is a handy site if you just want to check the topography of the site. I think it's useful and looks accurate, but unfortunately I have not found a way to export the map other than taking a screenshot. 
It says that you can sign up to download, but it's not free. The sixth a site, which ironically called Contour Map Creator, has a much simpler interface. It is free and is the one I use the most. Whether or not is accurate, I am not sure because we have not checked the levels of our sites before. To get started, first click once on the map and then another to create a rectangle. And from there, you can select plot options to either be drawn based on the number of levels or a distance. And then if you scroll down, you can also export the map as an SVG file and then edit that in Illustrator. The seventh site is called the pudding.cool, which has no objections from me. They create visual stories and map, which is so, so interesting. You can check out their website for more maps. But this one is about visualizing the world's population in 3D. It's such a cool way to effectively illustrate the population instead of using tables. You can also see the change in population and compare that to 1990. I feel that this site is also fantastic for creating diagrams in your urban design essays or dissertation. The final and bonus site for this video is the Urban Observatory. This site allows you to compare different cities in the world in different themes. I'm going to pick three different cities all in the UK and then compare them based on movement, people, public spaces and systems. This is easily hours of site analysis research done in a matter of seconds. Some themes though are not available to all cities. Not all of the cities in the world are available, but I feel that most capitals should be there. And those are all of the sites I have for you today. I hope that they help with site analysis diagrams. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below of a different site analysis website that you use so that this could be a great collection of different site analysis websites that other students can use. And don't forget that now you can book a call with me on Superpeer if you have any questions or you would like my feedback or some help on your project. You can also find additional services on my Fiverr page, which will all be linked in the description box. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I will see you next time.